Okay, that's how I felt just now when the mailman brought this humongous OMG box to my house with amazing colorful duct tape of rainbow and on the side it says hashtag shop my stash 2023 and I think the kudos well this box came from Dory from Dory did Dory did it because she done did do it and uh, thank you Dory you're amazing you know that um, and I also uh, brought to my attention that uh, Laura Mad Mimi crochets Lala um, also was implement Ted to be a part of the hashtag shop my stash 2023 yes have I fallen off the wagon a little bit there but I'm going by the Chinese New Year I've got two more uh, Mary Max and mystery boxes coming and then that's gonna be it I hope okay let's dive right into this because this is huge I barely was able to get it up the stairs and since the box did get ripped open on the side it looks as though everything, that the way it's done, nothing's fallen out. So I do hope that that's the case. But we can just pull stuff out of the side. Ooh, super nice. Jumbo, sh uh, bleh. let's try that one more time, should we? Jumbo storage bags. These are great. Uh, she was telling me about this, where you can store your yarn and then slide it up underneath your bed. So, oh my goodness, more storage pay space for Mama G's junk. I am super stoked because nobody will know it's there, except for the animals who like to go underneath my bed. But they can sleep on top of the box and it won't disturb the delicious yarn deliciousness inside. All right, let's move on because there is tons. I'm just gonna grab and pull. Dory, thank you. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. This is so exciting. Okay. Uh, yanking it. Now, now, I happen to very much like using um, chenille. Oh, my gosh. Right, girl? Look at this. I do love using... I'm going to slide the box. I'm sorry. Just so I have a little more room. Oh, my. Yeah, look at the muscles in my arm pushing that. So Dory knows that I like using chenille yarns, and I make cat blankets out of them, um, and then of course donate them to the shelters. I also buy, I, I, I make them, people buy them, and then the money goes to the animal shelters. So these, and I also do uh, crochet. Swiffer covers with this, which again, Swiffer covers, any size flat bottom mop, you can make a, uh, out of the chenille, works so great because you can use it dry to pick up the tons of uh, animal hair or dust that's on your floors. And you can also use it damp and you can use it really wet as well. And I'll, I, I thought I did a tutorial, but Dory had asked me to do another tutorial. And then she's going to probably ask me to send her back some of the chenille yarn so that she can make some. Or maybe I'll just make you some, Dory. Let me know your measurements on your mop. All right, because I'm making one for Rusty, which she's got to run those really long ones. They're like 17 inches by 4 inches. So I'm making a couple for her because, um, you know, if, if the animal has an accident, you mop that up and throw this into like a little bucket with some soapy hot water and it just makes things a lot easier. All right, so this this is just beautiful. There's four of these. It's the Burnett Yarn Inspirations Burnett Blanket, 100% polyester. It's a six weight and yes, I would agree. Um, there's 220 yards or 201 meters. And there is actually a pattern in there. I do save the patterns, though. However, I still um, don't really know how to read them. But that's that's my problem, not yours. All righty. So, yeah, this and I love these colors. Very neutral. This would work great for both the animal bed, the, the cozy cat beds, or the um, mop, mop uh, covers. So this is great. Oh, my gosh. All right, so there's four of those. Oh, God bless you, Dory. 
Okay, you guys, all right, let's just, real quick, the man, and I can't say the man who lives here anymore because my son is also here, so the man, um, refuses to buy garbage bags because it's a waste. So I reuse big dog food bags, cat food bags, because they're waterproof and they work. And I also, since we have two pellet stoves, there's very sturdy uh, plastic bags that the pellets come in. So I use those as garbage bags. Recycle, reuse, repurpose, right? So she sent me, <laughs> she did literally send me a bunch of bags. I uh, love you. You're, that, that's so great. <laughs> love it. But this is fabulous. I'm so excited. So we got four of those. And I might have to go sort of quickly. Yes, I'm bare like they are bare legged. Like I'm bare armed. It's really warm in here. All right. Now, I'm kind of glad that it the box slid open because it's easier just to do what I'm doing. Oh my God, woman. These are the review. Oh my goodness. Let me move that up. These are also, she had mentioned, these are the review. Re, re, all right. I'm so excited. I can't speak. I think we need a goat screaming. Okay. Now I'm better. Okay. She also sent, and I could see in the box, several of these, which are reusable because you could slide it out and, and in with the top and you have this part right here which you vacuum suck the air out so this one is filled with just chenille by premier and fabulous co co colors these would also be awesome for amigurumi i could probably do amigurumi with this um because it's a thicker yarn the tiny amigurumis would be you know, as you get older, your eyes aren't as good and all that jazz. So little itty bitty yarns like what uh, Cindy at um, Life and Yarn Tangled. Definitely want to shout her out. She's the beautiful human that made that amazing, gorgeous uh, wrap that's on the back of my chair in the uh, craft room that every time I film on it, numerous people are asking about that so please check her out as well i'll tag her and dory in the uh, description box because she's really sweet and she's been doing the uber micro itty bitty crochet tiny things i don't know how ask her because i have i'm completely lost at how she does it oh my gosh look at this another huge bag of just yarn all vacuum sucked and this this is the um, there's 131 yards or 120 meters and it's hundred percent acrylic this yarn I found to work for me the best in the Addy machines um, I'm st I still get Maddie at the Addy all right also there's a reason why she's sending me all these yarns of multi colors because of the Sophie's blanket that she's has coerced me <laughs> gently nudged me kicked me in the butt to start and I will show you where I'm at on those I started last night okay this is this is beyond famtaculous I, I don't even this this is yarn oliciousness at its finest and another woman Look at this. This is great for sto oh, Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the thing there. Um, this is the packing is perfect because I can leave them in here until I'm ready to use the bag and it takes up so much less space. I may end up having to get more of these bags because this is I could fit more in less space. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yes, again, this is the uh, Worsted Weight by Premier Just Yarn. And again, a variety of colors. I hope you get in the whole thing in here because look at, look at how much yardage. That's a lot of yardage. Okay, oh my gosh. Dory, you must have an empty room after this. Okay, let's pull another one out. I can't believe this is like, this is like the never ending wonderful 
Oh my gosh, more. Lady, holy Toledo. Look at these beautiful colors. And I'm not going into all the names of the colors and all that because you guys know. This is all from the $1.25 store. But this is fabulous. I'm really digging this. It's silver. And this looks gold. It's calling, it's calling that meadow. And this is mint. But through here, it looks like it has almost a shine to it. But look at all these colors. All righty. There's going to be lots of those uh, multicolored blankets. And another one. Oh, Lord. I know you're bouncing around, but... This humongo box is on the same table as the movable tripod arm. Okay. Oh, my God, more. I'm so stoked about the fact that this yarn, if this was not in this air-sucked bag. Yes, I did say that, air-sucked. Um, this would be like taking up so much more space. So I am truly going to start getting these and sucking up my yarn so that that right there we got a one chenille one two three four of those bags and let's just do a, a count one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty and in each of those bags is 20 little uh skeins so that's just crazy all right, let's see what else we could sneak out of the edge here. Oh my God. Rainbows. We love rainbows. Mainstay 100% acrylic. Uh, da, 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 da. I just give you the quick stats. I don't go through all the drying and all that kind of stuff and hooks, but it's 397 yards, 363 meters. It's a worsted weight, and it's mainstays. A 100% acrylic, and there is rainbow in a bag. What is better than that? Actually, what's better than that is a crocheted, fabulous rainbow wearable project, which this will become. I might have to do a rainbow mandala Sophie's thing because I'm moving Mr. Goat because I want to stick this over here. Oh my gosh, Dory, this is a uh, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy Easter, Happy Festivus for the rest of this, just happy Yarnalicious, super scrumptious day. Okay, we've got some Red Heart Super Saver of many colors. These are actually, these, this, this actually makes a nice color palette, actually. You got the Saffron, that looks like a charcoal gray perhaps a white a burgundy and a red and i don't know if you planned it this way but those colors go really nice together i like that and these are all red heart super savers oh my loaded loaded loady and i'm just grabbing oh this okay so this what i'm grabbing um actually she had sent me she had some uh leather that she wasn't using. So this is pieces of leather that I will now be able to maybe make some more pocketbooks or satchels as I call them with the fringe. Um, I am also going to do a tutorial on how to make medicine bags out of, la um, out of leather. That's something that's going to be coming up soon. And this looks like it's pretty thick. So if it's thicker, it would lend itself better for a satchel as opposed to a medicine bag you need kind of a soft leather because you're going to have to scrunch it but anyway this is super thank you for this okay well thank you for all everything but that that will all of this will go to great use all right let's just dig in i'm not even looking i'm just grabbing and pulling and what do we have here all right this is wrapped i'm gonna hold off on that oh Oh my god, oh the cutest little bird. Am I even on camera? I don't even know. This is so cute. For the kitty cats, and it's got a little bell on his tail. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Get in the middle. And you can hear my, my Moo Radley over there scratching at the door wanting to go out. But it, 
he's got that upper respiratory chronic illness. So when it's cold out, I don't let him go out. He protests, but that's just too bad. But, oh my gosh, we'll let him have this. They do. They love the toys. I've, I have toys all over my floors, my all my hair ties. Right, this is... Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Look at the... What the hell? Girl. Let me just grab another... One of these bigger... <laughs> I don't even know what to do with myself. Hope you're still here. Hey, remember the thumbs up. And if you like what you see, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, truly appreciate that. We're trying to get to our next milestone. All right, so this one here is more Just Yarn, Premier Just Yarn. And she, oh, look what she did too. I'm not going to open it, but these items right here, she made three, she asked me how to make the uh, Cozy Cat rugs that I make, those oval shaped rugs which the cats all love them and so she donated three to go to the shelter I, I thank you i truly appreciate that the the shelter appreciates that and the ones who appreciate it the most are the cats that are nice and comfy on their cozy cat rugs and then more there's some chenille there's some acrylic in here Oh my lord, girl, when you said you were sending some yarn, this is not what I expected. I, yeah, I'm, I'm really quite blown away. Let me jump in, ex oh, excuse my face. What did she got here? Oh, more bags. These are the nice slider sealable bags. Thank you. I'm gonna hide them from the hubby because you know when I do come across bags, he takes them. I'm like, don't touch my bags. You don't want to buy them. Don't touch them. Okay, and another bag. Oh, that's, I, again, always appreciated. Oh, we're going to have some happy campers. Well, not that they're not happy here. They're going to be super uber happy now. Look at this. This is so sweet. Oh, another little one. It's a little, I'm going to say it looks like a robin to me. Of course, they don't have that color tail, but the cats don't know. Oh, Duncan's upset. Hey, shush. Okay, we're gonna have a little, I'm gonna do a bark alert on this now that I have to. Um, yeah, actually Scruffy, our little Morky that you see, she plays with, she also plays with cat toys because actually the cats are bigger than she is. So she actually plays with cat toys too. And she, it's so adorable. I have to get a video of it. She gets something in her mouth and she struts around with it and walks in front of all the animals and the people showing everybody what she has. And it is priceless because not one of the people or any of the animals really care at all. <laughs> but, but she's really proud of that. But this is so awesome. Also another bell so fabulous these these actually to be honest may go to the shelter and are you serious more bags <laughs> oh gosh i love you dory and you know that i mean that it's a little private joke we have going okay all right so this is another thing in a bag oh i, I missed the trees i did say about that oh my gosh there's more toys oh it's a little chicken <laughs> No bell on this one. I'm sending it back. I actually have a bell downstairs that fell out of one of the balls that the big dog broke and the bell fell out. So I took it out. I don't want anybody to choke. And I can actually attach that bell onto the chicken so he'll have a jiggles too. These are fabulous. I really, yeah. And I, I, I'm, I, I'm gearing towards these are going to go along with the, the cozy cat rugs that you made. I have a bunch of cozy cat rugs that have to go to the shelter. I also have a bag that I'm selling. So I'm, tr I was kind of waiting to make that transact transition, transaction, transaction. Yes, that's the right word. Transaction with the ones that I'm selling so that I can give that money to the shelter, but I could just give money to the shelter and then whatever. I know it'll balance out. All right. I'm peeking in the box. What the heck's that? Oh my God, this, this is wrapped up, and she put some foam in here, and she probably didn't know this. There's some foam, box of foam in here, 
and she probably put it in here just to make the space but I use this foam for needle pointing and um, we also carve it and make stuff out of it as well so this if you just threw this in here just to take up space this will be used truly and sincerely okay so I believe as I peek into the I peeked into the crack. All right. So shop my, hashtag shop my stash 2023. I have totally shopped Dory's stash. Let's get into these here because these seem to be a little more special. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm also gonna include that in the the uh, donation to the shelter. Okay. And purple yarn. How did you know that? That's my favorite. I know this is a little bit longer of a video, but this is not just your ordinary mystery box opening. This is the grand poobah of mystery humongo boxes. All right, what do we got in here, Dory? As long as there's no spiders. Oh, <gasps> get out of town, girlfriend. Oh my God. God, I'm not saving this bag because I want to get into it right now. Okay, so I was chatting with Dora the other day, and you know how obsessed I am with... <gasps> these are velvet. Look at these crows. I have these in all different sizes all over my house, okay, because I am a crow fanatic. So I was on the phone actually chatting with Dora the other day, and she takes a picture of her front yard and her neighbor's front yard and there was I'm gonna be a minimum of 50 crows there was an entire murder all over the ground flying in the air they were up in the tree and she's snapping photos and sending them to me I was giggling and jumping around my kitchen like a little girl because that would be my dream I would have covered myself in peanut butter and rolled in peanuts and laid out on the yard for them to just be able to hang out with me and <laughs> pick peanuts off my body. I, I would do that. These are these are gorgeous. And what's nice, if you guys have never had uh, one of these kinds of things, is they have the metal adjustable pieces on the bottom. And that's why they're styrofoam. Okay. There we go, girl. I'm going to make a diorama with my crows with one of those. This is amazing. I, I, I'm, oh, I just love them. Where do I put these beautiful babies? I'm gonna set them back in here. Oh, Dory, I don't even, uh, yarn, yarn. Let's open the yarn yarns. This is also nice, the bag, um, as you probably guys already use. If you do have a project, you know, hats or so forth, smaller projects, socks, whatever, that are, are crocheted, it's really smart to put them in a little bag if you're going to throw them in the washing machine and dryer because it keeps them from tangling up with, with other uh, things in there. And this is all hanks of yarn. Now, I do want to mention, this is super uber soft. That wasn't what I wanted to mention. But I do want to mention that what Dory had said to me when she said this box was coming is once it entered into my home, it became mine, like anything that anybody gives to anyone. And I have permission to share whatever I want out of this. So you all know how much I like to share. This is gorgeous. How much I like to share. So these will be in giveaways. We've got, yeah, February 18th, Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern is our next auction. I'll maybe touch on that here or not because of, this is kind of long. But yes, we're, don't forget to, to mark that on your calendar. This is gorgeous. This just looks like a, a sunflower. It's a hand dyed. One is the lemon. L is, oh, L is for lemon. Yeah, read much? Not really. And uh, I just wanna, if I could find it quickly, I'll tell you the yardage in here, knit needles. My eyes are really bad, folks. Tan dyed, I'm sure it's acrylic. I mean, not acrylic, uh, wool in here, but it is super uber, uber soft. And that's gotta be, 
you know, at least a three weight. That's a three weight. This, oh, and it looks like there's two of them. Let me see if these are the same. Holy words I can't say on TV. Uh, that's from a commercial. This is sock yarn. And I got stuff on here. Sock yarn with gray base. And then you've got these bright neon blue, pink, yellow, orange. Unbelievable. These might stay with me because I am absolutely loving this. And I can see Rusty and Craig sporting socks with this, this colorway because, yeah, I mean, I would too, but I would love to ha be able to either have someone make or make them a pair of socks. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't move on. And then we've got a beautiful fuchsia, which is the same as this like golden color. And then, oh my gosh, look at that. Tell me that's not delicious. These look like I said, these are like a three or a four weight, and I just don't know where those specs are on the back. It says a size six. Okay, 215 yards and 197 meters I'm on all of these. And I don't see the weight. You know, I could do this. Am I, am I in camera? Well, I'm way off camera. I'm so totally sorry on that. But that's the weight on these. These are unbelievably soft. Let me bear with for one hot sec, if you would, so I can kind of keep this. I mean, my table's only eight feet wide, so I don't, I, this is, yeah, no, girl, all I, well, I don't even know what to say to you because this is just so far from, I, I yeah. I just, yeah, I, I don't know what this, oh my goodness. Well, never mind. Those gray ones are going to be socks for me because here's one, two, three, four of the black with all the colors. Now this screams rusty. So we've got four of these. This is the sock yarn, um, three millimeter hook. Where did I see the yardage? I know I saw it on the other ones. Come on, eyeballs. There goes my eye. Oh, it was up here. Why do they write stuff so darn small? I think it says 460 yards. Holy Shits Creek. Okay. Yeah. This is, and there's enough yardage in here to make sock socks, lots of socks, but this, there's enough to make something else. She may end up getting a pair. She's been asking for a pair of stockings. I see this being a full set of stockings. And then it's got to get one of those old lady. Eh, I'm an old lady. I could say it. Um, the, 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 the clips, you know, remember the, when we used to have the garters and we had the clips to hold the stockings up. I mean, I'm a little young for that, but I remember my mom having them. Um, yeah, these are these these are going to become probably fishnet stockings for Rusty. Absolutely spot on, perfect, nailed it. O M G. And I would be swearing up a storm right now if it weren't for the fact that YouTube frowns on that kind of uh, behavior. And I also wouldn't want to offend those of you who uh, don't appreciate bad uh, truck driver talk. And I'm not dissing truck drivers. Because if I were a truck driver, I'd be swearing up a storm with the way all y'all car driving people cut us off and cut in front. Anyway, the last item, since she wrapped it, I figured it, it deserved to be the last thing. And let's take it out of this bag. And I appreciate all these other little bags. It's so nice. Now I can wrap my yarns. And I can also now wrap the yarns if it's going into a box for a giveaway to plastic it inside the uh, box. All right, and I will reuse the tissue paper because we do that. <gasps> are you serious? You are serious. Toledo, this is gorge, and it even has paisley print. 
O M G. Okay, let's just. Uh, this is a designer bag. Oh, and there's stuff in there. This is a designer bag, and since I'm not a designer person, I don't know the name of it. But this is a Verna Bradley. Oh my, I have a Verna Bradley bag, folks. Holy moly moly. And what, what's cool, look at all the little, I love little pockets. So two little pockets, so one's perfect for my phone, one's perfect for my keys, so I don't search all over the place. There's a zipper inside. And then she threw some stuff in here. Oh, ideas. I literally just ordered a notebook. And, and I told Rusty, I got to go buy notebooks because we've got a couple more channels that we're going to be starting. And I want to, um, oh, this is a day-to-day. -day. It's got a date and then the subject. But this is a great planner. A nice little mini planner, lightweight. Can put it in my pocket. And it. I won't lose it because it's glows in the dark. That's like, you know nuked <laughs> love it but uh yeah we have uh, a couple more channels that we're going to be starting and of course i'll let you know all that stuff look at the oh there's two pockets on both sides so there's oh no okay so there's two pockets out here a zipper in here for my like meds that i'm taking with me and then two little slip pockets inside and then she's yeah right i am the queen of post-its oh it's got a little heart Queen of Post-it Notes, yes, I am. I am really, I mean, everything is beyond beautiful, beyond what I could possibly say in words to thank you for. Um, but this, my own Verna Bradley bag with paisley prints and bright and pockets, and it's not too big. And my only fear is that Rusty's going to try to steal this from me, and it's quilted yeah, because if Rusty borrows it from me, she's just going to get it dirty. Don't tell her I told you that. But I might. I might share with her because I usually do. All right. So we've got the, the idea book. Love that. And always love that. Love everything. I, you know. And I was going to show you how far I got on the that Sophie Mandala thing. That. Oh. And dog barking. Oh, my God. Rainbow. And look. Dunk! Shut the up. Purple heel. I have to do this because this is. It's a llama with sunglasses. So perfect. Oh my gosh. Well, happy early birthday to me and Dory. Love you. I totally hashtag shop my stash 2023. I totally shopped her stash. And I need an entire another room just to put this in because I don't. I have to. Uh, once I start vacuum sucking all the other yarns and bags, I'll have so much more space in there so I can keep shopping and buying stuff. No, I won't do that. I'm not going to show you where I've gotten on my Sophie's thing because this, this video just belongs on its own. I mean, look at these delicious yarns. I don't even know what to say. And then we've got beautiful crows. I mean, come on. Who knows me best, right? Dear Lord. Anyway, love you guys. Be fabulous as you are and have an extraordinarily yarnolicious day. And hey, go over there and shop Dory's stash. <laughs> Love you, Dory, and I really mean it. Sorry about the barking.